Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at papapodcasts at gmail.com. Other Papa Podcast titles include Chemistry Podcasts, Math Podcasts, which look at quadratic functions, polynomials, trigonometry, linear mathematics, and physics podcasts. Thank you for watching. Sample problem number three. Marianne is trying to predict the time required to ride her bike to the nearby beach. She knows that the distance is 45 kilometers and from other trips that she can usually average about 20 kilometers per hour, including slowing down for climbing trees. Predict how long the trip will take. We read it once. Next step, to highlight the key important aspects of this question. So we read, Marianne is trying to predict the time. So we know there's no information that we need. Just part of the story. She knows that the distance is 4.5 kilometers. The distance, our D. And from other trips that she can usually average about 20 kilometers per hour. Notice the two sets of units, a time, a distance, and a time. This is gonna re be represented by our speed. And they know it's about an average speed. Slowing down, up and down, predict how long the trip will take. How long will the trip take? So we're looking at time. So the next thing what I, what I want you guys to do, and as we did in the um, previous example, is to list the units. So let's list the units. Now, because she is starting from some original uh, location, our zero points, we know we don't care about her initial distance, but well, I'll show it to you, and her initial time, because we know those are all going to be zero. So, her final distance, 45 kilometers, and we knew that her initial distance was zero. So her delta D is 45 kilometers. Her time is what we're trying to find. We don't know how long it took her. Because the question asks, predict how long the trip will take. So we don't know that. So our delta T is what we're trying to find. Which means our, in our, v, our, our VAV is 20 kilometers per hour. So we start off with the initial equation. VAV is equal to delta D over delta T. Because our D value is zero and our T value is zero. We don't need this. All we need is the VAV and the delta D over delta T. Now, one thing I try to teach my students is to use the following pyramid. So we have the pyramid and we're going to write the letters V, D, T. If we are trying to find, now, we're, we, we, we're given distance, we're given speed, all we're trying to do is find time. Which means to find time, we're going to take our distance and we're going to divide it by our average speed. So we're going to get the following equation being rearranged. Our delta T is equal to distance divided by speed. So we get 45 kilometers divided by 20 kilometers per hour is equal to 2.25 hours. But if we look at the question, okay, if we look at the question, remember the rule for multiplying and dividing. We are looking for the least number of significant digits. If we look at the least number of significant digits in our question, here we have two significant digits, here we have one significant digit. So our answer is going to only have the one significant digit. But before I jump to leaving this two, I need to look at the number followed by the number I'm keeping. Who cares about this number here? That's not really gonna matter. It's the number right after the number I am keeping. So therefore, the answer, our delta T, is equal to two hours. So again, we're gonna wrap it up with a therefore statement. Therefore, Mary Ann's trip will take her two hours. Steps for solving problems. 
read question at least twice, once all the way through, and the second time identify each of the numbers and what is the question ultimately asking you. List your units in your question. Write out the formula being used. Please include your units. Remember the rule for multiplying and dividing numbers in terms of the significant digits rule. The significant digits rule applies to all these problems where the least number of significant digits in your question should be the no same number of significant digits as your answer. So you're going to have to round off accordingly. And then always end with a therefore statement. It must include the following. Name of the person in the question. Correct numerical value, keeping in mind the rule for significant digits and the item that you are looking for. If you're looking for speed, if you're looking for distance, time, acceleration, and whatnot. 